Jess. Ever since this happened earlier this month here in Warren, Warren Police, CPS, and of course the Wayne County Medical Examiner all trying to figure out how baby Eva passed away. Now the uh, parents are cooperating, but they did hire an attorney. That attorney tells Fox 2 that at this point there are no indicators that the family did anything wrong. She was born on Halloween. Four and a half months later. Come on. Warren police there in minutes. Mom Diamond Davy in the driveway screaming, holding baby Iva. Officers immediately try and save her, loading her into their squad car, continuing compressions on the way to the hospital, where she was later pronounced dead. I will win this for my wife's enemy. A hole in their hearts and so many questions as they wait on the full autopsy report. No, perfectly healthy. As we thought, let's hear maybe that disappointment. And everything was normal. Children's Protective Services and Warren Police are working to figure out what happened, and that means investigating what happened at home before her death. I'm here to be the gatekeeper. Um, they have access to my clients through me. Diamond and dad Ivory Hogan hired attorney Todd Perkins, who says all indications are that there is no wrongdoing by the family. We're investigating as well as law enforcement's investigating because they want to know. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer says as far as his officers, they did everything they were trained to do to try and save baby Iva. I want to thank them so much for trying to help if that's what they was that's what they wanted to do, but. She has mixed feelings though on Warren PD's decision to release body camera footage of the incident that the parents have now okayed to be re-shown. Their focus now is Iva's funeral this Friday. She was bright, she was smart, and we don't truly miss her. In regards to that autopsy here in Wayne County could take up to 16 weeks. That means a couple months before we have anything concrete here. Meantime, the family is preparing for that funeral. Obviously a devastating day on Friday. If you can contribute anything to help cover the cost, we'll post that GoFundMe page on our website. Reporting live at Warren, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Jessica, the tragedy of losing a baby and then having to go through an investigation that's so grueling, making this even more heart-wrenching for this couple. None of that is something that anyone can imagine. That's a lot of trauma for one family. Absolutely, and you hear the mom there. You know, she thanks those Warren officers for acting so quickly, doing everything they can, but also on the flip side, they're now being looked at. So a lot to process here, and really we're waiting on that full autopsy before anybody can make any conclusions. All right, we'll be waiting for that, and of course we'll have an update when that happens. Jessica Dupnek for us live. Thank you.